tonight. Sure. Downset, interviewing James and Ray of Downset, and their guy in the middle, who's our guest guy, he's got that. So how long have you been on the road since you guys been in L.A.? Uh, we've been out about, what, a month almost? Yeah, about a month. Seems like five, five a week, seven a week, seven gigs a week, or five gigs a week? At least. Yeah. A new album? Uh, we have a new record. I'm sorry, yeah, I don't know the label. Uh, we have a new record called Check Your People. It's on Epitaph Recordings. And um, we've been really trying to support it. We think that, the, you know, we try to keep up the hybrid quality of the style of music that we do. And we did fairly well. You know, we, you know, we try to keep the momentum in the, in the, just the raw fluid Where they were once a kitty core, you guys are definitely from a stronger, tougher, tougher element than that. So it's like reaching out for them too, so I'm sure. For you as well too, the hybridization, like we say, across the home. Where are you guys from? Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm, I'm Los Angeles. <laughs> where it's like 85 degrees right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's February in Cleveland, you can see the sun for fucking four months. <laughs> four <laughs> fucking you, you months. Must, you postponed it to this point because uh, it's been brutally cold. It's, it's been what, kind of, what band you been playing with on tour? I mean, is this a tour, like? On this tour, we got um, well, E-Town Concrete, Factory 81, Relative Ash, and uh, well, there's been a couple <laughs> bands like Switch, <laughs> and um, yeah, a few other bands jumping on. Uh, for a couple of gigs, yeah, we bring regional bands. But, um, <clears throat> the course of this album, we've toured with, on the uh, Tattoo the Earth tour with like Slayer, Slipknot, you know, uh, Seven Dust, Hatebreed, and we did the um, Soul Flight tour here at the Agora with uh, Primer That's 55. Right, that's right. And, uh, you get to Aspest too, didn't you? In 97, yeah. 97 Aspest. That was Oklahoma. one of the best tours I've ever did. Man, yeah. Sabbath, Pantera. Did you meet Ozzy? Did you hang with Ozzy? Did you get fucked up with him? For a second, I, for a second, he was, I don't know if he really understood that I was actually standing next to him. <laughs> yeah. I used to play basketball with those kids. <laughs> Uh, Did you guys get that stage? Did they have like three stages? No, they had two stages that year. We played, we had like the yeah, side stage. The side stage was just... No, the last that's the, the cult thing where the fucking real main... <coughs> To me, if you weren't like Pantera, Manson, or like Sabbath or Ozzy, you like were playing on this bigger stage. I don't know, it's just it seemed kind of conservative. That's like the, the work tour does that too, and they have like, they have multiple stages, but the small ones are the thing to find. Yeah, it's your little like cult here. thing, you know, it's the fucking best thing you do. What kind of bands you guys have been listening to lately? Anything new good out there you like? I've been listening to a lot of Frank Sinatra. There you go. Nice and easy. <laughs> the, the lyrics on the new album, the lyrics for an time, continues the same strong message from no, the previous. I, that I, 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 the first, do you speak that language? Um, the first I record was really beautiful. They wanted to do it. You know, but I'm they sent us they sent yeah, a strong, really sound. beautiful message. Yeah, the, um, but the new record is more personal yeah. than it is anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's just Find just lyrically because you know you get so involved with the external yeah. part yeah. of the world. Forget yourself here on the internet trying to find out <laughs> instead of hanging out with your family or something. You know? So it's a lot more fun. A poetic license. And the new guitar player. Dave. I don't know how new. Actually, I knew he has a month. About a month. Month and a half. He's working out here. That was the guy on stage left. I was working there like twice a year. The drummer. He had good crunch, man. It was really, it was good. I didn't know that. We're the biggest fan. We're like groupies, man. We're like fags or something. We are, dude. I swear to God, I'll play your fucking album. Ask any fucking anybody. Everyone knows we're here. Ask anybody. That's the album I played the most. <laughs> we were like, alright dude, we heard it enough. Turn it off, fucking eyes shut tight. We heard a thousand fucks you die. It was number one and number two, Jack, for number one and number two on weight bench rotation. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not no big Oh yeah, oh that's, that's that's boy, he was that a lot, boy. Oh shit. Well, you know, I think I think the sound quality of the records, just the recording quality, you know, is really good. Besides the songs and sounds. You guys are always tight, man. You guys are fucking unruly and fucking ridiculous, scandalous shit. Really raw, organic sounds, you know. Like, <laughs> 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 Alright, downset. February 5th, 2000, Cleveland, Ohio.